so hello guys and in this video you will learn how to digitize a graph how to digitize an image to a graph and what I mean by that is I have a graph right here and this graph is on the x-axis it shows me a time and on the y-axis it shows me the position so uh, with this I need to know what is the value at this point or at this point or at any point and I cannot find out because this is just an image so for that purpose I need to just to do something that will just digitize, digitize this graph what I will do is I will just right click here and image I will just save this image somewhere I like for example here I call it one I have saved this image now I will just show you a very really brilliant trick this is an open source web application or a web software called web plot digitizer which you can also download the desktop version here but I will work in the web application version I will just click on launch now it will bring me to a workspace now what to do with this workspace nothing just come in here and click the load image option and choose the file it says choose the file I have a few files here I just saved this one so I will open this file when I opening this file I can just drag it here and see what it shows me yes this is the graph now it is it is asking me what is the type of plot I will say to the XY plot because this is exactly what this is I will call it to yes plan the axis yes now it says just select two points on the X axis and two points on the Y axis and give it values I will select these two points on X and Y axis and give it values just like this I will just click on the proceed option and select the 10 here call it 10 you can select any point as far as it's a known point so this is a bit tricky I will click it here just like this adjustment can take time because this is an image and a very bad one click here x1 and I will click somewhere here because I know this point and it is 40 so it's better just to click at the axis grid points so I will just come here at this point and call it I know this is 20 so I will call it 20 here and a 50 brilliant yes yes just like this and and with this alignment yes this is 50 so I have got x1 x2 y1 and y2 just like that I will just click on this complete option this is now asking me whether x and y axis values that I selected what are those values I will click click here and just select the 10 value here and the 40 value here on the x-axis the 10 and the 40 now the y-axis these two points I know the first point it's 20 and the second point it's 50 I know this graph is not a logarithmic graph because if it was I would have just selected this two as the log scale it is not so I will leave this option and I will assume that axes are perfectly aligned which these are so I will ask and say okay with this I have got this window where if you see wherever I bring the cursor on this side it shows me values so now I have to um, plot this line so how do I do that is I will start with this zero button and click here and similarly just keep on going here and here and here and start marking the line by clicking this button if in case you are not getting this option of uh, points you can come in here and click at point and it will bring you to this to you to this point and uh, bring you to this option and you can just keep on clicking the graph and make sure that you don't come back when you select a point because if you have an error for example you just click it here you can just come in and delete this point and then come back to add more points so keep on adding that it can take time but I assure you it's worth it and there may be few minor errors and that are expected because this is an approximate work this is not an actual digitization you are actually approximating the values and it will have some errors so as I'm getting closer I can give it more space if I like it doesn't matter but I want to have the lines exactly where I need them so with this keep on doing that yes just like this keep on adding the lines and when you are finished you can skip it forward to the point where I complete these and when 
just like this this is the last point so when I have completed the uh, point adding point option and I have marked all the points here on this graph I will come to this point which is view data and these are the x and y axis values that this software has provided me this web application I will come to this download CSV option or I can also check it in graph and plotify I will click this and it will show me whether the graph that I just plotted by digitizing the points on the image whether these are accurate or not so it will take time and you can see that I have got this smooth curve that I just made from this graph so if this looks okay yes it, I think it looks okay so I can come back here and just download the CSV option and with this downloaded I can open the folder where it downloaded and open it so now now that I've got this CSV file this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis I need to do now because I have opened it in Excel I will just make a quick chart just for demonstration purpose so I will come to the insert command and click this skater and this chart option and this is the chart that I just made from the from the data available so this is just the chart and I can give it title just the title that was there it's just a chart so I will just write chart and x and y axis values you can always check that add them their lines and other points so this is how you convert this digitization you can convert these images to graphs and if you and I can now delete this data and one more thing if you want just uh, graphs just like to just to behave exactly like this all you have to do is just click on a point click one here one here 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 but this is just for this image here 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 and here and with this this will just give you a very quick graph because this was a graph where the points were already visible but in case it is not visible then you will have to go to this type of option and make this graph by selecting every point along the line so you can now save it here go to copy to clipboard copy it here or just download and open and save if you want so that's it guys that's the second graph okay they'll just make it quickly so this is how you make the second graph so side by side you can check that when you have the points available you can have a pretty accurate data and when this is this is the chart where the points are available and this is where you for used every point in the line to make the graph so they are fairly accurate and I think this software has a very huge potential for researchers and many other one any other person who wants to go into making graphs from images so that's it guys and that's the video and please subscribe to this channel for more techniques and tips just like this Thank you.